thanks very much for being here this morning at what is an outstanding facility that provides first class care to such a significant number of people in this local community right across the southeast, reaching right down into the east of the state, uh, both as the local member, as a local resident and as the Premier. I'm very pleased to be joined by Health Minister Jill Hennessy uh, to make this important announcement and to congratulate all the team here at the Valley Private Hospital on the work that they do. They support, I think this year they're forecast to support some 22,000 patients. The range of services offered at this hospital has grown very strongly in uh, recent years. So starting uh, with just 60 beds, humble beginnings but innovative beginnings. Dr Harvey's here and he's been honoured today appropriately for his leadership, not just in this region and not just in this hospital, but in modern healthcare across our state. And that's what we're known for, that's what Victoria is renowned for. Always driving the reforms and the innovation that delivers much better outcomes for patients. That's what a true system, not individual health services, but a true system where we look for partnerships between our public sector and our growing private hospital system. That's how we deliver the best outcomes for patients. So many of the staff who work here spend some time here and some time working at Monash Health and other public hospitals right throughout the, right throughout the southeast of Melbourne. It's a shared effort. Together we are in a much stronger position to provide the very best of care to those in our community who need it. Uh, today's a great opportunity to honour leaders whose vision have seen this hospital go from, as I said, 60 beds to over time what will finish up close to 300 beds, uh, intensive care, surgery, uh, right across the length and breadth of the different patient groups that need that care. Uh, acute care, the, the very, the most challenging of care in many ways. This is a, a, an outstanding hospital and one that does great work for our local community and for a community that's much bigger than that, more than 1.2 million Victorians are in the catchment of this outstanding facility. So I want to congratulate all, all the team on the work that they've done and the work they do every day to provide the very best of care to a growing number of patients who need it. It's also a great opportunity today to, to play a small part in the launch of some cutting edge te technology that will deliver much better outcomes. When it comes to surgery, particularly complex uh, orthopaedic surgery, spinal surgery, accuracy is everything. And this, uh, if you like, guided robotic system, uh, which delivers 98% uh, accuracy, that's very important for better outcomes. It means patients can get home to their families quicker, they can get into rehab quicker, less occasions where the surgeons have got to go back, the whole team have got to go back and, and redo the work. That, together with some of the, Im the imaging technology we've seen today, it's just outstanding, just outstanding, and it's a real pleasure and a privilege to be here today to celebrate the work that the Valley's doing. Um, very proudly as a local, uh, but also on behalf of all Victorians, well done to everybody involved. And can I just pay a special mention uh, to a big team of staff, uh, from those who manage the hospital, uh, to Neil and his team, uh, to surgeons, other medical staff, nursing and allied health staff, all the other support services. This is an outstanding facility, it does great work it's getting bigger and stronger for the future, but it couldn't happen. It simply couldn't happen without the dedication and the professionalism of everybody who works here and all of those, many of whom are local, can I say thank you so very much. I might now pass quickly to the Minister for Health who might want to say a few words about this exciting announcement. Oh, thank you very much, Premier. And uh, again, I can only echo the Premier's words congratulating, uh, congratulating this health service on um, not just their dedication to serving their local community, but for having the foresight and the wherewithal to invest in cutting edge technology. We know that technology is a critical factor, particularly in dealing with high acuity patients. Um, and the bottom line for patients is investments in this this sort of technology makes their stay at hospital shorter, it reduces the clinical risk and improves people's health outcomes. So um, the, everyone uh, here today is to be absolutely congratulated. Um, I'm delighted to see not just all of um, the staff here today, I'm delighted to see the families of the staff here today who no doubt um, have also been sharing the stories on this very challenging journey. It's often difficult and challenging to get good and important projects um, actually into their final phase of implementation. So we're delighted to be here today um, and a very strong and sincere congratulations to everyone involved in this important project. The Harvey Ward. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Who 
went through two years of a very difficult time <laughs> when I was literally living in the hospital yeah. to be the first uh, on-duty doctor to cover the patients. But in addition, we've got uh, other family friends and uh, Les Kemp, who was the manager, who saved my life more than once during those early years. And I have a debt of gratitude to, the, to those people and, and many others that supported us through a, a, a quite a groundbreaking exercise. <laughs> Thank you.